Day 100, we made it to the end. Well, technically not the end. We still have a lot of work to do as we continue growing the blog, and that's the plan. And that's for sure what I'm going to do as I continue to update and change and grow the blog that I've created because it is a lot of fun and I do see a lot of potential. But I wanted to jump into Google Search Console because we have a lot to cover in this day, day 100, the end of the case study, the end of the daily updates to the case study. But here inside of Google Search Console, what I want to do was simply click on the Search Console Insights. And that takes us over to the Search Console Insights beta tool that breaks down sort of everything at a glance that's going on. And one of the things that you can see here is also achievements. And here it says, good job, your site reached a new achievement. So we're looking here at all the different achievements that we've hit. Of course, here we're seeing Google search impact reach X amount of clicks. And that's basically what they're showing you here is the number of clicks that you were getting inside of that tool. And I guess there might be other achievements that we can unlock as well. But the general idea here is the site overview. It's looking at the number of page views, the average engagement time, showing you your new content, your most popular content, how people are finding you. And then it's showing the keywords that people or how people are finding you based upon the keywords that are showing up in search. Then you have your referring links or these would be backlinks. Of course, we don't have any, but then you can get the full story here by clicking and going over to Google Analytics. Now inside of Google Analytics, this is gonna be when you go under reports, where it's going to show you everything that Google is tracking here inside of these different reports they set up for you. And then GA4, the new version of Google Analytics is a beast unto itself. And I'm going to attempt to show you the things that I learn, or I'm going to attempt to learn things and share them with you as I learn them about GA4 and use this site for that to continue this case study, to show you how I use this site, this content that we created using ChatGPT and the AI. But one thing that I wanted to do is invite you to go back and not only check out all the videos of the 100 day case study, of course there are 100 videos, a video every day out to today, day 100. So check out that playlist. There is a link in the description in the pinned first comment that takes you over to this playlist. So if you landed here, you can go back to day one and you can see the introduction and exactly what we did every day for 100 days to get where we are today. But I wanted to highlight that on day 21, we were setting up Google Analytics or GA4 and inside of Search Console, the beta, we were looking at achievements and on day 21, we were still 15 days out before Google could actually highlight and show us any achievements because it was still gathering data about the site because it was so new. Even today at 100 days, it is still super new. So I'm going to link also in the description, this video, day 21, as well as this video, day 22, where we took some information from Google Analytics, GA4, and we fed it into ChatGPT. And here in day 100, we're gonna look at the difference. So the invitation for this video is so that you get a full understanding of what we're doing. So you can see that the way that GPT-4, ChatGPT-4 back in day 22, because ChatGPT has changed a lot since we started this and since I made this video back in day 22, because this is day 100, ChatGPT4 has changed to include, it added plugins. And we're gonna take a look at that today because I simply took data from Google Analytics and I fed it into ChatGPT and it gave me the information that you'll see in day 22. Then you can compare and contrast. And again, that's the point of this case study is to see everything we're able to do, see what result we get, see the changes that we make and see if we get a better result or a worse result and then understand what we need to adjust going forward. But in day 22, we take this Google Analytics data, we feed it into ChatGPT and I've done that here in ChatGPT and you can see the data that I fed in here to get the output or this is the input, not really a prompt. I literally just gave the input to ChatGPT based from the raw data inside of Google Analytics. And then it gave me this information. This appears to be a website analytics report, possibly from a tool like Google Analytics. It provides data on various metrics for different pages of a website. Here's a brief explanation of the columns. Then it breaks down or it's educating you or allowing you to learn more about what each column means and the information that we're getting from GA4. So this is gonna be a learning experience for us as we learn GA4. 
Now, this data right here, where did it come from? Of course, if you go back to day 22, you'll see that in day 22 where I got it from. But real quick, because we're here together in day 100, all I did was go down to engagement and pages and screens. And then I took all of that data from this screen right here by going to rows per page and opening it up to 250 or the max. And we only have 96 pages. So I was able to copy all of that just simply by coming up here to the top and simply highlighting everything inside of the table and just doing a simple copy. And that's where I just pasted this into ChatGPT, not using a plugin. You might get a plugin or there might be a plugin available and that's something we'll take a look at later on when I do a sort of, hey, check out what's going on with the blog, the AI blog update. And I'll try to do those every so often as we move forward with the blog and as we move forward with understanding the AI and how the AI content or how Google is going to let the AI content continue to do for us as we move forward. But you can see here, it broke down that data. It didn't really give me a summary like it did in day 22. So I went ahead and said, please give me a summary of the website statistics. And then it broke that down and it gave me information about here about the website had a total of 335 or 353 views from 140 unique visitors. The one I was focused on here is the average engagement time across all the pages was 44 seconds. And the reason I focused on that was some of the information that it gave me. Overall, the website seems to have a decent number of views and interactions, but the average engagement time is relatively low. The lack of conversions and revenue could be a concern if the website's goal is to drive sales or other specific user actions. Of course, if we're gonna use this as an affiliate marketing website to make money as an affiliate marketer, then we're gonna to have to get that up. So what I wanted to say, or what I said was, please give me a step-by-step -step plan for recommendations on how to improve the average engagement time. So then it comes and it gives me a plan, gives me a 10 step plan here. The one that I know that we need to focus on here, and we've looked at this a little bit, and we'll look at this more as this improves, but we tried to, or we looked at using the AI to create images. I wanted to create, or I wanted to use real images for space or for the planets and moons and stars, things like Hubble telescope pictures and things like that. We also found a plugin during this case study where ChatGPT can go and reference all the images over on NASA. It didn't work really well, but it might get better. Or we might just move forward and start creating images using AI to add to the blog. We'll take a look at that as well as we continue to create content and see where we can take this blog. Because 100 days was really just us looking at the tools, all the tools we use, the concept, the idea, just to see if it would work. Because the first 100 days, is nothing in the time that it takes to build and grow a niche site into an authority site, or even just have a really, really good niche site, 100 days is just a blink of an eye. So improve content quality. Ensure your content is high quality, informative, and engaging. Use visuals, images, infographics, videos to make content more appealing. Break up text into smaller sections with subheadings for easier reading. I think we did okay on that last one. But images, infographics, and videos, for sure, we need to double down on that and really build out each post to make it really the best post that it could be from every angle. Because I think we have really good written content from what we generated using ChatGPT or the AI using Koala, which on the back end is OpenAI. But the idea and the concept here of creating a very highly engaging blog post and then actually creating videos or having videos that make sense to add them to the blog, infographics and other visuals, for sure to add pictures, otherwise you have a very bland blog post. And of course, if you were just to go to the blog and click on any of these blog posts, you'll see that it looks good, it's laid out and it's formatted okay as far as the text. But when we get into added images and we looked at some of that and the limitations of GrooveBlog and the way you can place the images, versus the things that you can do inside of WordPress with WordPress plugins or even the native Gutenberg WordPress host builder where you can go in and you can put in multimedia. GrooveBlog is a little behind the curve when it comes to that, but that is definitely something that we need to look at. But I wanted to move forward and kind of dive deeper into this and also using another input or asking ChatGPT using a different type of input based upon this data. Can you tell me the other post I should make based on this data? So taking a look at the pages and posts and the keywords that we're ranking for and that we are getting engagement for, how can we add new content? Of course, I think the best thing to do here at day 100 is to go back 
and to look at all the content we created and then make it better like we did in the last few days where we were looking at crawled, not indexed and improve that post. But here, this is very interesting and it's using the plugin. Again, the plugins that didn't exist when we started in day 100, it's using the plugin framework. And based on the related keyword data, here are some post ideas that could potentially increase engagement on your website. Astronomy picture of the day. This is a really cool idea where we could go find a picture and we could write a blog post around it and maybe tie historical events and facts to that day, something like that. Then you have astronomy definition. We do actually have an astronomy A to Z post, but I think we could enhance that and also work on our interlinking. So our internal backlinks to our own blog post. And we did a little bit of that here in this case study as well, where we tried to feed that information to chat GPT. And we saw that when we fed it large chunks of data and tried to really let it do it for us, we had to back off because it made a lot of mistakes. And then we had to do one blog post at a time. And we did actually interlink into our astronomy A to Z to other blog posts and back and forth. So when people are reading the blog post and they see a definition and maybe don't understand it, then we have that internal backlink over to the astronomy A to Z page. So we are doing that, but we could definitely do more of it. And then the next one that we could probably add or think about adding is astronomy news. It could definitely open up a different avenue or a different way to get people in. And this could help establish your website as a go-to source for the current information in the field. And using the AI, I'm not sure that we could get the current data because we know that we have the problem of the data set in the AI being limited based upon the last time it was fed data. But with the plugins and access to the internet, we could combine the information that we have from a historical view and look at things that are happening right now and maybe, hey, here's a current event. Here is some news in astronomy. Let's take a look at how we got where we are today looking at this big news story and go back and look at a timeline, something like that. It really just opens up all types of different ideas. And just like ChatGPT says here, remember while these topics are based on search data, it's also important to consider what fits your website's existing content and what your audience is interested in. So we need to think about that and look at that over the long term as well. So that's all great information. And of course, like I said, we're going to be looking at GA4 and I'm going to be sharing that with you, this data, this information as this content on this blog ages. We'll definitely be taking a look at that and we'll get more out of it. But we're going to go back to Google Search Console real quick and look at the pages that we have indexed because we have big news. We have 114 pages indexed. And yes, that includes, if you were to take a look at the pages here, that includes facts about planets for kids that was last crawled on July 20th, 2023. So when we redid that, if we go ahead and we retrieve the data from the Google index and look at the live page, you can see here that the, U the URL is now live on Google. And we'll go ahead and we'll look at the screenshot and we'll test the live URL. It'll actually go and pull down the screenshot or pull down a screenshot of that blog post as it tests the live URL. And there we have it, Space Explorer Adventure, Uncover Amazing Facts About the Planets. That is the new piece of content that we created. And we were able to create that new piece of content with ChatGPT. If you remember, if you go back a couple of days ago, that was written with Koala Bulk. We took that post and we wrote a new outline based upon the information that Koala Bulk wrote us. But then we flipped it a little bit and came up with a new idea, created this new blog post. And now you can see that it is indexed and it is going to get ranked eventually. And so on day 100, we have 114 posts and pages indexed. And if we look at the performance over the last three months, because that's how long we've been together here, 100 days, a little over three months, July 22nd, we have 14.6K impressions. Of course, today is July 23rd, but the time we spent together, we know that this is a little behind. It's always one day behind here inside of the Google Search Console. And also taking a look at Google Search Console and thinking about the free SEO tools that we took a look at. Of course, you can see all the queries. And then for the queries here, these are the keywords that people are searching for. All that information is here. Now inside of Rank IQ, this isn't a free tool, but this is a tool that we started with because I wanted to go over that or go after that low hanging fruit, those keywords that Rank IQ had done the research for us in the space niche. And this is a tool that I use, I really enjoy. It makes life super simple for just finding a niche and then going after that low volume keyword or that set of low volume keywords to ease your way or to wedge your way into the niche that you're trying to break into by being able to rank 
as fast as possible by creating high quality content, which is what you've seen over these last 100 days. You can see this has its own analysis section where it lays out the information. Of course, you connect this to your Google Search Console account. And then once you do that, it can read all that information. It lays it out and sees how, or it lays it out in a way so you can see how important things are. And you can see that we don't yet have any data available for these reports. Pages experience traffic growth and pages experiencing traffic contraction, meaning pages that are going up, pages that are going down, because we have only, again, been creating content for 100 days and we are still at the very, very early stages of getting indexed and ranked with our content over at Google. But I also wanted to cover or go back to Ahrefs because the question came up, what is the best free tool? The best tool overall for SEO is Ahrefs. It has a hefty price tag, but this is the free account. And here you can go in and you can see, for example, if you click on organic keywords, what they do, because this is connected to Google Console as well, they bring in all the keywords that Google is showing us to rank for, all the queries that are showing up in Google Search Console. And then you have these different metrics that Ahrefs is showing you, and you can see volume and keyword density, and you can see the traffic, and you can see the position that you are, so you can track these things. And this is inside of the free account. Also, you can come down and you can do other things. You can look for backlinks. You can come down and look at your organic competitors. And then once you are looking at your organic competitors, you're gonna be able to see what other people are doing the types of content they're creating. And this is going to be very helpful. When you go back and you look at this web report and you look at this information right here or what ChatGPT said to us, the information, the helpful content or the helpful advice that ChatGPT gave us when I ask it, please give me a step-by-step -step plan for recommendations on how to improve the average engagement time. And it talked about improving the content. Having that report from Ahrefs and understanding that you need to use visuals, images, infographics, and videos to make the content more appealing. You can go back to this report and you can see who is winning the position for what keyword and you can look at that content and you can even have ChatGPT look at that content, look at your content using some of the plugins that we've seen and then take all that information that we're gathering from the free tools, your free Ahrefs account, Google Search Console, Google Analytics, GA4, putting that information in the ChatGPT, looking at your blog with your own eyes, putting on your editor hat and saying, how can I make this piece of content better? Giving that information to ChatGPT and asking it, hey, AI assistant, my chat buddy, help me out. Let's make this content better together. We've created all this content. Now let's make it better and move forward. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to move forward. We've ended 100 days together, meaning that I'm not going to show up every day but I will definitely let you know more about where this blog is going and how it's going as it progresses, as it grows, as I take it to new levels, which possibly may include moving it off of Grooveblog due to the limitations, especially when we're looking at being or doing affiliate marketing, using the blog and the content. There's lots of plugins that you can use to do things for Amazon affiliate links or other affiliate links, track those affiliate links, track conversions, all these things, create an email list. It can be done on Grooveblog, but Grooveblog just isn't mature enough yet. And it doesn't have a lot of the things that are readily available right now on WordPress or inside of WordPress once you add the plugins, but you can't really customize Grooveblog. I think Grooveblog is a great starting point for a blog that's tied to a business and or a website where you're just creating old school style blogs, where you're just putting up text-based information with a few key infographics or a few key images or maybe embedding your YouTube videos. I think that would be a great strategy if you had a YouTube channel and you wanted to create written content that aligned with the videos. You could put those on Grooveblog and I think you would do okay. Of course, we use Groove pages to build all of our legal pages and it worked well. We were able to get those indexed and we have all this stuff indexed and ranking and we have all this data coming in from Google Analytics. We can look at it inside of our free Ahrefs account. Of course, we have Rank IQ. It's gonna be tracking all these as well because that's where we got this idea for this niche. So we've used all these tools and we can also go back to Koala and ChatGPT. Although I do prefer ChatGPT, ChatGPT4 for the 20 bucks a month that I pay for it, the access to be able to create the content and not hit those hard limitations as far as the number of credits or words that I have in Koala. But I do like the way Koala creates the content and using Koala Writer, and I think the bulk tool might get better, but there's not a whole lot of control. So I still, when I write a 
blog post or I get a bulk blog post, I still need to go back to chat GPT and enhance it. But I think that may always be the case. Even if you write a blog post yourself, I think you can go to chat GPT and you can use different angles like we did in that page where we created that space explorer quiz. Because if you know what you're looking for, if you understand and you have something in your mind that you're looking for as far as the output, if you can give an input to chat GPT, it'll give you an output. And then as long as you know and you understand in your mind's eye exactly what you're looking for, you can keep giving an input and you can go back and forth and you can work in that process or you can work through that process of ideation and your ability to create content is going to get a lot better by being able to let the AI work with you or working with the AI and going back and forth. You can see some of the content that we've created here. We've had a lot of luck with getting quality content, in my opinion, and for sure, we're able to get it indexed. And you saw when we didn't get it indexed, we went back to chat GPT, we just reframed and changed the content a little bit, put it back, had Google go ahead and recrawl it, and they went ahead and indexed it. So we'll see how long that'll last as far as the AI content that we've created for this blog. And again, that means that I will be back with you, giving you more information about the AI blog, where it's going, what I'm doing with it, and the success that I'm finding with just spending 100 days, these first 100 days together, we found success of just getting the content up, getting it indexed, and getting that information because without that content being up there, there's no way for us to look at what is possible and then see the keywords that we're ranking for and the posts that we got indexed and then being able to take that to the next level. So thanks everyone that watched through this entire 100 days, no matter where you picked it up, or even if you're landing here today on day 100, make sure you go back, check out the playlist, and definitely check out day 21 and day 22. If you're interested and you wanna see sort of where we were, basically nothing on Google Search Console and Google Analytics to where we are today based upon creating content every day for 100 days together here on the channel. So again, thank you for your time and spending it here with me. Let me know in the comments, questions, what you think, what you thought about every day that we've been here together and what you'd like to see going forward. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next update. Bye.